Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Um, I appreciate it. Today is January the 10th, 2021. I made a video earlier about the rest of my Joanne haul finally getting here. I scooched this yarn shelf over a little. I to play with my yarn a little bit and arrange things. Um, I just thought I'd come on here and work on a project that I'm working on and just kind of chat with you guys, maybe. It could be like we're, it's like a chat, like a crochet hangout, right? Okay. So, real quick, before I get started on what I'm working on, um, I went and refreshed my coffee because it's all delicious and warm. So we're good to go there. Um, I have discussed this definite whip. Like, it's almost a sleeping whip at this point. Anyway, um, with the Karen Simply Soft Rainbow Bright, just double crochet. Every time I talk about that, sorry if I'm shaking, um, I want to mention what hook size, and I forget every single time. So I'm using a G, a 4.25 double crochet. So I'll come back to you with that, but I just keep meaning to tell you I keep it escapes me every time it escapes me so I am working on another little jellyfish um, with the uh, super saver pulling in the color still water it's a still water pulling but just for still water Oklahoma and the cowboy's sake that's just <laughs> still water okay anyway uh, there are 236 yards 141 grams 215 meters to number four it suggests that you use a five millimeter hook however for my little amigurumi guy so I'm making a jellyfish so I just I forgot to pull his little head tight um, I'm using my what, F or 3.75 hook. Alright. So, I'm using, um, the pattern that I'm using is, hook, is from Hooked by Robin. It's just like a jellyfish at the beginner pattern. It's super easy. Um, <clears throat> I'll link it if I... I'll be honest, I mean, I'm pretty new to the whole YouTube thing, so I haven't really, like, I don't know. And I film on my phone currently, um, and we don't have, we, like I said, we live in the middle of nowhere, so we don't have really great internet, so let me scooch up. Oh, gosh, not that close, sorry. <laughs> so I always feel like I'm not very loud, and I apologize. I'm trying to be louder. Um... Anyway, we live in the sticks, so we don't have really great internet, so currently I film on my phone. So whenever we move to our new house, we'll have actual internet. It's very exciting. We're moving right on up to 2014. It's a very exciting time. So we'll be able to, hopefully my videos will be longer, be able to do some lives and things. You know. Um... So I just want to thank you guys again very much, everyone who subscribes and watches and just hang, comes to hang out, comes to watch, all of those things, all of your comments, it's all so very sweet. I appreciate it. It means a whole lot to me. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know if I can do this and keep count, we're going to try. So, like I've mentioned, um, the, you'll have to excuse my voice, it's like the longer in the day it goes the worse my voice gets I'm just gonna be honest about it so um I mentioned like I said before that I'm making amigurumis and things for Oklahoma City um anyway I have a whole other video about what exactly I'm doing um jellyfish ice cream and Hats, oh my, check that one out. Um, so anyway, just like I said, working, I'm going to say um a hundred times, apparently, 
I could drink coffee every time I say the word, um, mercy. <clears throat> so, I'm working on jellyfish. I have several of them done. So I want to make some more narwhals. Uh, mercy. There's several things that I want to make. I want to make another bee. I've made quite a few hats. And that mainstay, like the Walmart mainstay yarn, the pink, well, all the multis, honestly, the black multi, the purple multi, and the pink multi, those are the only ones I've used so far. But they pattern so neat. I mean, they are just, they look so cool. It's like you really tried to put some effort into it, and I didn't. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. Um, and with uh, all of my hats, I'm just using Crystal from Bag Day Crochet. She's amazing. I know you guys probably, I mean, surely y'all have checked her out. If not, please check her out. She's the sweetest person on YouTube. I mean, she's amazing. Anyway, I use her um, easy half double crochet beanie. It's just, it whips up really quickly and I'm just like I said trying to just get some quite a few hats made so I've just been making them all in that I need to make some hats in some different patterns because I've been using that one a lot here lately but like I said I really like how the mainstay mainstay patterns it I don't I thought I had my niece's hat um in my Christmas what was it called in the Christmas yarn haul video the hat that I'm holding up it's the pink and purple, like spirally looking. That's mainstay, just in that simple pattern. I didn't do anything special, it did that. It's pretty and it's really soft. So if you guys haven't checked it out, you might wanna check it out, just saying. Okay, so like, let's get a conversation going. What do you say? So tell me down in the comments what you guys are working on have something warm and toasty is it cold where you are <laughs> you have some big giant something some like a gift for someone are you making something for yourself are you just taking a break for a little bit from crochet <laughs> what's going on like I said I just thought it'd be fun to get on here and just start conversations and say hello and just hang out mostly um my Oh, drinking coffee. <laughs> my husband and my little son just went to my son's band practice. He's like, he's in a band. It's very big stuff. Anyway, they went to the band practice. Just so you know, there's like minimal people. My cousin is one of those people. It's very, very, very small. Um... <clears throat> I'll be like, anyway, little be group. So he plays the guitar. My son does. Um, he's 14. He'll be 15 in May, but he's just 14 now. He's not yet 15. And my son, and my daughter are just kind of have three kiddos. If I've mentioned that, or if you guys know, um. They're just kind of hanging out. We're just kind of having a lazy Sunday. Nothing very exciting going on around here at all. Um, I haven't even packed a box today, which I should be doing. But I'd rather crochet and just say hello. I have, well, I don't have to. I need to go to Walmart tomorrow or somewhere and find some boxes and some tubs to pack things in. I thought about, I know you can go to liquor stores and things and get boxes, but with like the virus and everything, I don't wanna just, I don't know. I just feel kind of weird just going picking up boxes anywhere. I don't know if that's, I've known way too many people <laughs> in my family that have it for me to even mess with it. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I just, no, <laughs> I don't want to play with it. 
and I've been way too sick to mess with it for sure. So I'll purchase boxes this time. We never have done that before. I have several boxes that we can use. Um, my husband has a mish and I, should I say, we have a machine shop. Sorry for kicking that. Anyway, we have a machine shop. So we have several. I work in the receiving and shipping department. It's very official. Anyway, um, so we have several boxes there that I can just put together and take apart. You know, it'll be okay. I just, for like big boxes, for just random things. Um, we've moved. My husband and I have been together for 18, been married almost 18 years. Sorry, we've been together for 19 years. So we've moved, this will be our eighth time moving. It's a few times in that little bit. A lot of those were at first. We've lived in places for, one place for a decade. So like a bunch of those were at the very first. So, so we've lived in the home we're currently in for four and a half years. But either way, so we've kind of got the moving thing down. So I'm not looking forward to it, but all else fails, we'll just do tubs and some trash bags and <laughs> or clothes or whatever and it'll be okay. If we can get it over there, it'll be all right, right? So I'm fixing to get the house ready to sell and you know, that is a fun time, but it's okay. <clears throat> Bigger and better things await us. Um, I'm gonna make two stitches in this one so I don't lose count, and then I want to show you guys the stitch marker that I'm using on this little project. Uh, where yet? <laughs> okay, that's way too close, huh? There you go. Anyway, it's turquoise. I think I've shown this before in a different video. This is the little top of my jellyfish. We're getting somewhere. So anyway, other than moving, hmm, I said in my last video it is cold here, it's like 40 something, it's icy this morning, um, I'm a summer kid, I like it whenever it's like Anything to me, okay, to me, anything below 76 degrees is completely unnecessary. Degrees Fahrenheit. I feel like I should put that out there. Anything below 76 degrees Fahrenheit, nope. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of it. That's hoodie weather to me. 75 and below hoodie weather. Big socks. I don't do well with cold. And the older I get, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm not even that old, but the older I get, the worse it gets and the more that I hate the cold. So I'm ready for warm weather. Spring's fine <laughs> but I live in Oklahoma so we get big tornadoes. So other than that, you know, awaiting spring. Summer. Mostly summer. I made it back. Just knew I was gonna spill that. Didn't spill. <clears throat> so anywho, I really this is for sure a crochet rambling video. It's a lot of rambling. It's kind of what it's what I do, <laughs> I guess. But anyway, um, so mostly I just wanted to chat, say hello, just a short little video to just thank everyone for coming and hanging out, being part of my journey, friends, I really, really appreciate it, because this is where I made it, not very far, because I'm filming on my phone, so I can only have 15 minutes, so before long, we get over there, we'll hang out for a lot longer, thank you guys, okay, thank you guys so very much for hanging out to the end of my yarn chat ramblings, you guys have a very, very blessed day, stay safe. See you guys later.